In this video, we will show you how to install and configure the APM100. You'll need the following items. An APM100, a 4IP net access point, a switch, an ISP modem, and ethernet cables. Okay, so let's get started. First, you'll need to make sure that the modem is connected to the internet. And now we'll move on to show you how to install the APM100. First, connect the APM to the switch. And then connect the APM to a computer. Next, you can use the USB drive that came with the APM100 package and plug it into the USB port on the APM100. Then plug in the power adapter and connect it to a power source. Now you can press the power button and you'll see a green light to show that it's turned on. And now you'll need to connect a 4IP net access point to a PoE switch. After it's connected, you'll see the LED light turn on. Okay, so that's it for the installation. And now we'll show you how to configure the APM100. So first, open a browser and enter its default IP address which is 192.168.1.10. Now you see the login page. For both the username and password, it's admin by default. So just type in admin and then click on sign in. After that, you'll see a page that asks you to reset your password. So just change the password and then click on the apply button. Now you'll need to log in again with your new password. After you've logged in, the setup wizard will pop up automatically, so you just need to follow each step to complete the settings. So in the first step, you can rename the system and set the time zone. Then in the next step, you'll set up the internet, so fill in all the required details. For the last two fields with the managed IP pool, this is for the APs that will be scanned by the auto-provisioning feature. You can define the start and end range here, and once the APs are scanned, their IP addresses will be reconfigured to be within this range. Okay, now click on Next and we'll move on to set up the AP template. The Wi-Fi name is the SSID, so here we'll rename it to 4IPNet-APM100. And then you can also select the security. Then click on the Finish button and this will save the template as Template 1. Now you're done with settings and the system will take some time to reboot. Please also make sure that the IP address of your computer is in the same subnet as the IP you've set. After rebooting, please log in again. Now go to AP List and click on the Add button. Since there may be multiple APs that you'll want to manage, you can select Auto Provisioning as the Add method. Then make sure Auto Provisioning is enabled and click Apply. Now go back to the AP list and for the refresh interval, select 10 seconds and then click on the refresh button. During this time, the system will begin to automatically discover the APs in the same subnet and have the configured template applied to them at the same time. As the page continues to refresh, you can see the AP settings change gradually according to the template. After it's done, you'll see the AP status change to online. Now scroll over to AP Admin Web and then click the Go button to make sure that the AP has been applied with the template that you've configured. So you'll see the AP's UI pop up and then you can check its status. So that's it for installing and configuring your APM100.